I'm Michelle, and uh, I am so grateful to be here with all of you. It's truly a beautiful day, and I feel so much love in this room. It's just amazing. This class was quite a journey. There were high points and there were low points. And the highs were amazing and fulfilling and wows. And the lows were painful and crying and uncomfortable and discovery of me. And um, it's really easy to focus on everyone else for me, to love and care for them and nurture them and show up. It's, it's effortless. But to dive within and see what's down there and sit with all of that is scary and I have a lot of resistance and it's very uncomfortable. But when you get there, something opens and there's freedom and there's love and there's joy and there's healing and that journey is so worth it. We were given four paths to align with the divine. We could align through daily our heart, we could align through our mind, we could align through our body, and we could align through spirit. The most difficult and uncomfortable one for me is through spirit. It's through meditation. And I had dabbled in meditation before, but we were being asked to do meditation daily. And I don't prefer to hold still. I have a lot of energy, and I don't prefer to dive within. I'd much rather be outside of myself, enjoying the world and helping the world. And um, so this was quite a challenge for me. Um, I started with just short spurts, five minutes at a time, holding still, being quiet, listening, trying to ground myself, and I wasn't very good at it. And I just kept trying and let it, trying to let go and to breathe and to listen and to breathe some more and to listen some more. And somewhere along the line, the five minutes grew longer and I got more comfortable and I began to feel peaceful and there was a groundedness and it felt safe and the resistance started to dissipate. A question that arose during one of my meditations was, how do I have a pure heart? How do I have a, have a heart that's overflowing with love? What does that look like? So I really listened and I really held still. And the word that came over and over was forgiveness. So I thought I had a journey about forgiving the people in my life that might have hurt me. And so I sat with that a long time and I realized after writing letters and journaling, it wasn't about anybody outside of me. The thing I needed to face was forgiving myself and loving myself. And so I meditated and I prayed I wrote lots of letters, love letters to myself and love letters of forgiveness to myself to try to heal those wounds that are inside. And I worked with that a long time and I could just feel a letting go, a peacefulness, um, a healing was happening. <clears throat> I think what we're all looking for is freedom, to feel free and to feel that you are loved and that you love others. And after this journey of meditation, I'm beginning to realize how powerful it is. When I take the time on a regular basis to sit, which is really hard, 
and to be still and to be quiet and to really listen deep down inside. Listen to what, what's trying to come up. What treasures are under there that are buried in our busyness of every day that, that, that can't be heard when we're moving through our days with so many things to do? And so this, um, this opportunity to be still, it aligns me with the divine. I feel connected to God. I feel a oneness. I don't feel any separation. And when I come out of meditation, I get to carry that sense of oneness, that peaceful heart, that love that I feel in my heart. I get to carry that throughout my day. And a lot of times, it stays for quite a while, and sometimes it slips away pretty quickly because of the busyness of our lives and being overwhelmed. And then I just go back in, and I find that safe, deep, powerful place, and I align with spirit. And then I'm recharged, and I get to go back out carrying that love and that deep peace with me, that oneness. It's very powerful. So I wanted to share a story. I really think we are here to love each other. We are here to be expressions of love. That is our journey. And uh, when we go within, we get to discover more of what our gifts are and, and then share them with others, share them with the world. A couple weeks ago, I was at work with a client, and she's also a friend, and she was sharing about her broken heart. She's always been very close to her granddaughter, who's 21. And um, four months ago, they stopped talking, and nothing, no text, no conversations. She won't connect with her. Last week, the granddaughter started a two-month journey in the hospital where she's going to have lots of procedures, and she's going to have a bone marrow transplant. And her grandmother aches to be with her and support her and love her and text her. And she doesn't know what to do. So she's sharing this, and I, I get this voice in my head, this, this whisper, there is only love. There is only love. There is only love. So I shared that with her. I said, I'm getting this whisper, this feeling that I'm supposed to share with you that there's only love. And we talked about what if you go into your heart and you feel all the love you have for your granddaughter and you let go of any fear or frustration and you just be and sit and envelop that love that you feel and just hold that powerfully in your heart. What then? What might happen? So she went home, and she really sat still, and she felt all the love that she had for her granddaughter, and she let that love swell in her heart. And that's all she was holding was pure love. Then she took a chance and texted her granddaughter. And her granddaughter, from her hospital room, an hour later, texted back, Thank you, Grammy for that beautiful, loving message. I really needed to hear that. And now their relationship is beginning again. I feel that when we all come from a place of love, anything is possible. Miracles are abundant. I invite all of you to go within, find that place of love, and extend that out to the world. I would like to conclude with sharing a few things from my spiritual leadership journey. It guided me in going deeper and discovering more of who I am. 
I learned more about love. Loving others, loving God, and loving myself. I was deeply supported and held as I released fears, as I let down my walls and my resistance, and I let my wounds come up and be seen and be healed. I discovered more of my gifts, and I look forward to sharing them. I am deeply grateful for Harriet guiding us through this journey, for my classmates who shared this amazing, powerful journey with me, and I'm grateful for all of you, friends and family, and beautiful people in this community. I'm deep, deeply grateful to be a part of this community, and I feel extremely blessed. Thank you so much.